Hello and welcome to Daily Bites with your host Mr. Bites and today I'm playing Blessed Online on the Korean Rebo server. Today I'll be showing you guys the mage skills and passives. Okay, so I'm going to start the core skills. First one is Firebender. Increases critical chance by 50% for your next fire spell. This has to consume 100 fire element. During the next 12 seconds, fire spells that our criticals will apply fire curse. Allies within 50 meters will receive element magic. Elemental mage blessing. Elemental mage blessing will increase spell power by 2% and can stack up to 4 times. Constant effect fire element is active. Fire skills will deal. <coughs> Sorry. Fire skills would deal 10% more damage, however constant effects and additional damage will not be applied. Also changes your element armor to fire armor. Next one is Waterbender. Again, it consumes a 100 ice element. And you get that from using ice skills. Okay, so next single t ice spell will apply freeze to an enemy target. And also for 8 seconds, Ice Spells will deal 55% increased damage. And then it has the same skill. So allies within 15 meters receive Elemental Mage Blessing. Elemental Mage Blessing will increase spell power by 2% and can stack up to 4 times. Constant effects, that is, Ice Element is active however, Constant effects will deal and additional damage, blah blah blah, <laughs> would not be applied. And that turns ice, that turns elemental armor to ice armor. Okay, next one is airbender. Again, it uses a hundred air element. And what that does is next air spell that has cast time less than five seconds is an instant cast. And for 10 seconds, mage can move while casting air spells, and all air spells would deal 20% extra damage. And it's got the whole thing again where allies within 50 meters receive elemental mage blessing. Elemental mage blessing will increase spell power by 2%, and can stack up to 4 times. And then you've got the constant effect. Constant effect is air spells deal 10% more damage, however, constant effects. And additional damage will not apply and it changes your armor to lightning armor <coughs> sorry okay next skills first one is the base attack for the fire tree where it has fire bullets inflicts damage to an enemy and increases fire armor's duration by one second and your second hit when it hits it heals 5% of your max mana regenerates. So, yeah. Next is Fireball. Inflicts damage to an enemy during the duration of burn will reset if applicable. Next one is Burning Meteor. Inflicts damage to enemies and their surroundings if this skill is used after Flame Burst. Enemies will be stunned and can charge up to 2 spells. So what that means is, this skill is always like loading itself, once it hits one stack, it goes up to two, so it means you can use it twice in a row. Next one is Incineration. It fixed damage to an enemy, if the skill is used after Flame Burst, skill damage is increased by 50%. My nose is blocked, so I can't breathe properly. <laughs> Next one is Frostfire. Inflicts damage to an enemy over two periods. If the enemy has burn or freeze, skill damage is increased. However, burn or freeze effects will be removed. Can be cast while moving. Next one is Amber. Deals damage and applies a burn to the target. Next one is Element Emission. What this does, based on which core skill you're currently in, it will generate a hundred element 
So if you want fire, you get fire element. Also, well, ice, you get ice element. And lightning, you get wind. Next one is flame burst. Inflicts damage to an enemy, and the next skill will have one additional effect. Incineration would have 50% extra damage. Fire explosion. <laughs> damage around the target is increased, but damage but base damage is reduced and burning meteor will stun and the last one is fire explosion inflicts damage to an enemy if the skill is used after flame burst base damage is decreased but damage around the target is increased ok let's show you skills So I'm going to start with the auto attack. So the first one is fireball, the next one is the mana. The next one is fireball. There you go. Next one is burning meteor, the one you can use twice if you have two stacks. There you go. It missed the second one. <laughs> next one is incinerate. Next one is Frost Fire. So it hits twice. Next one is Amber. This one plays a burn. See? Next one is. I can't have the buffle. It's like, she's a. Next one is Element Emission. So if I use E now. It heals as well. Which is used to activate the skill. Next is Flame Burst. You saw it then. It's kind of small. Next is Fire Explosion. It does tons of damage. Okay, let's redo Fire Burst. Flame Burst. There you go. to wait a second because I'm in combat so I can open the skills. Okay next is ice skills. Well the second row. Which is many ice skills. Okay first one is ice bullet. It takes damage and increases duration of ice armor for one second. And if a second hit lands, you get 5% max mana back. Next one is Frost Pillar, inflicts damage to an enemy. Next one is Hail, inflicts damage to an enemy, reducing their movement speed by 20% and magic defense by 30% for 2.5 seconds. Can be charged up to 2 spells, so it's kind of like this skill above it. Next one is Freezing Zone. Inflicts damage to enemies within 5 meters of yourself and freezes their feet for free, uh, for 5 seconds. Next one is Lightning Fire. Allies re receive Lightning Fire. Effects that increases their movement speed by 30% for 8 seconds. Enemies receive Lightning Fire. Effects that reduce their movement speed by 30% for 8 seconds. Using this skill against a target with lightning foil will activate lightning strike. Okay, next one is your armor. Based upon which core skill you're in, it'll be different. So let me take my core skill off quickly. So this effect is the same for all of them. <coughs> As this is the base. So creates an armor reduces incoming damage by 15% for 30 seconds. If a single attack deals 25% of the mage's HP, Phantom Armor is created. Phantom Armor, next incoming attack will deal 30% less damage, reducing wait, effects last for 5 seconds. Receiving a melee attack will stun the attacker for 3 seconds. So what happens when you pick a fire core, water core or the air core? Basically they have different effects. 
So when you get hit with the fly core, so using the fly shield, you deal damage to the attacker. If you have ice shield, you slow the attacker. And if you have lightning, you paralyze the attacker. Once lightning gets to three stacks, I believe, it stuns the target. But you need to have the lightning core on. Okay. <laughs> Next one is Distortion. Threat level immediately decreases by 30% and become immune to all attacks for 5 seconds. During this time, the mage cannot use any skills except Defensive Maneuver. I do not know what Defensive Maneuver is, I cannot find it. <laughs> Next one is Ice Wave. It affects damage to enemies in front and reduces the immune speed by 40%. And the last one is called Ice Spear, affects damage to an enemy. After using Ice Spear, the mage cannot use any skills for 5 seconds except Fire Bullet, Ice Bullet, Electric Shock, Assault Magic, Distortion, and Defensive Maneuver. Critical Chance increases respect to lead to target's lost HP. Ice Spear cannot be resisted. Okay, so let's have a look at the skills. First one is Ice Bullet. So attack, and then drain. Just do it again. Next one is Frost Pillar. If it's damage only. I kinda had a mini freeze. <laughs> so again. Just do it again. Well, frame drop. Next one is Hail, which you can use twice in a row. And it charges up. Next one is Freezing Zone, which is around me. So I'll go near person. There you go. And I cannot move for 5 seconds. Next one is Lightning Fire. Which just used. So it stows a person. This was my shield, which this is just the base shield. So this is what it looks like. There you go. This one is. This one's for PVE. Oh, I learned to shield. Don't mind. <laughs> this one makes you immune to damage, but you cannot move. If you played other games like Mages, you can sometimes freeze themselves. Or if you look at uh, League of Legends, you have the Hourglass where you can turn yourself to stone. Well, not stone, but you know. <laughs> Next one is. Ice Wave. Okay, I was out of range. <laughs> I'll do that again in a second. And last one is Ice Spear. And I'll just go. Oops. Let's use Ice Wave. As I missed it, as I was out of range. There you go. <laughs> I missed the skill. Okay. So all attacking. So yeah, this skill here, distortion. When you use it, you cannot move, you cannot even turn the screen around, all your skills. People can attack you but you take no damage. Okay, so use ice wave again. Need to wait a few seconds. Jade skin skills ready. Okay, first one is electric shock, which is your attack. Fixed damage and increases lightning armor's duration by one second. And second hit. Again, 5% mana, regen. Next one is Thunderstorm. It fix damage in an area. Enemies in the center of the area receive more damage. Next one is Chain Lightning. It fix damage to an enemy. The skill chains into nearby enemies up to 4 times. However, damage decreases by 10% for every chain. So it's kind of like Fruit of Sticks is um, Crow. It bounces around from target to target. 
Next one is Stoneblade. Does damage and can charge up to two times. Again, it means you can use it twice in a row. Next one is Frosty Wind. Inflicts damage to an enemy within. Wait, inflicts damage to enemies seven meters ahead and pushes them away. Additionally, re reduces their movement speed and magic defense by 30% for 20. <laughs> for nearly 25 seconds. 2.5 seconds. So two and a half seconds. Next one is Wind Ride. Places a spell circle on current location and quickly dashes forward, inflicting damage. The damage doesn't work. Just to let you guys know. I don't know if it's just this version, but it doesn't do any damage. Using skill against again with teleport the mage back to the spell circle. However, the spell circle must be visible, so it can't be in like another map. After teleporting, recovers 10% of max mana. While moving, mage becomes immune to CC and knockdown. Wind Ride is not affected by other skills that increase damage. Even if Wind Ride is a critical, Blazing Heat, Cold Wave, Thundershock does not activate. Next one is Block Spell. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Interrupts enemy skills and prevents the enemy from using any magic skills for 5 seconds. Next skill is Typhoon. Inflicts damage over time like every few seconds or half second to an enemy within 5 meters, dragging enemies into the middle, into the range of the skill at the start, middle and end. Next one is Winter Wind. Inflicts damage, again, it's like every half a second, to an enemy for 6.5 seconds. Okay. Let's start with all attack. There you go. Next one is Thunderstorm, which is you have to pick an area. Next one is Chain Lightning. Okay, next one is Stormblade. You can use twice. Next one is Frosty Wind. This is a slow and knockback. This one is Wind Ride. So I'll put it here. It does no damage. I can use it again and go back over there. This one is Block Spell. So like interrupt them and they cannot use magic skills for five seconds. Next one is typing. Okay, I wanted it already. But you spin and do damage to everything around you. Use the healing skill. It's near the end. It's like eight, I think. Eight or nine. There you go. Okay, so the last one is Winter Wind. There you go, it's like a laser that deals damage. So I'll use this one again, Typhoon, because the door kind of ended. There you go. Okay, so that's all the skills and that's the core skills done. You have the shift key, which is it teleports you forwards and as soon as you use it, it makes any stuns, crowd control effects, poisons so that removed from you. And while you're teleporting forwards, you become immune to CC and damage just in the teleporting time, like this. Okay, 
So, next skills. Here are the reaction skills. You have three, uh, four this time. You have blazing heat. Inflicts damage to an enemy and applies stun for two seconds. Can only be used after a critical. Next one is cold wave. Inflicts damage to an enemy. Can only be used after a critical. Next one is thunder shock. Inflicts damage to an enemy and decreases their cooldown of other skill, other air skills, for one second. Can only be used after a critical. Next one is rise. Immediately recover from knockdown and inflicts damage to enemies within three meters. Become immune to CC and knockdowns for three seconds. Can only be used one knockdown. <coughs> okay, the next ones are passive skills. So the first one is Flame Expert. Increases crit chance of fire skills by three sec uh, three percent. However, constant effects and additional damage will not be applied. Next one is Twisted Mercy. Increases damage by 15% against enemies HP with HP below 20%. However, constant effects and additional damage will not be applied. Next one is Fireball Explode. Fireball will inflict damage to... Fireball will inflict damage to 3 meters around the target, so it's like an AoE now. And Fireball is not affected by other skills that increase damage. Next one is Fire Perception. Enemies will burn. Enemies with burn <laughs> will receive 5% additional damage. However, constant effects and additional damage will not be applied. Next one is Frost Pillar Wrath. Frost Pillar will reduce the enemy's movement speed by. 20% and magic defense by 5% for 2.5 seconds. If the enemy is hit by another ice scale, there is 20% chance to reset the coordinate of Frost Pillar. Next one's Cold Season. Increased skill damage of ice scales by 5%. If the enemy target has their movement speed reduced, however, reduced, however, constant effects and additional damage will not be applied. Next one is Glacial Cycle. Howl, Frost Pillar, Ice Wave, Ice Spear will inflict more damage against frozen enemies. Next one is Discharge, Chain Lightning, Thunderstorm will paralyze the enemy for 15 seconds. Electric Shot has 15 chance to paralyze the enemy for 15 seconds. We're attacking an enemy with paralyzed the next single ice spell will have a additional 30% trickle chance. Paralyzed can stack up to three times. At three stacks, enemies will be stunned for three seconds. This one is Thunderstorm Equalizer. Thunderstorm's damage will equalize. Center damage will be decreased, but outer damage will increase. Damage will not be mitigated from attacking multiple enemies at once. So if you hit more people with it, it doesn't get a reduction on damage. <coughs> <coughs> Next one is Chain Lightning series. Chain Lightning can chain one more time. Chain Lightning chain chain what? One second. <laughs> chain Lightning can chain one more time. Chain Lightning's chain target will include self. So you can hit yourself with it, I guess. Uh, fair wind. Storm blaze damage increases based on its distance travelled. Wind rider reduces enemy's movement speed by 30%. And the last skill is Tempest. Wind, uh, winter's wind and typhoon's damage is increased over time. So the longer you use the skill for, the more damage it does. Now you have stat passives. So you go intelligence, which is 40 intelligence and goes up to 200. You have 50 stamina, which goes up to 250. Technique, which starts at 20 and goes up to 100. Magic resistance. Magic resist is 40 and goes up to 200. Um, critical damage 5% goes up to 25. 
This got almost 60 and goes up to 300. And the last one is Magic Defense, starts at 50 and goes up to 250. And that is all the skills, guys. Hopefully, you liked the video. If you don't, press dislike. If you do, press like. And if you find the video interesting, check out my other videos. I'll make other videos on Bless and other games. I'm sorry about the video quality. I'm, I feel kind of sick still, oddly enough. My nose is kind of blocked. Anyways, guys, hopefully, I'll see you guys in the next video. So, peace out.